gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... My testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Laugh well, you may, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn and weep. Hey there. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Hmm. Thank you. Scoff not. Laugh not. Deride not. I speak the truth. We are killing this land. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea will dry up. The world will heat. Crops shall wither. The hills shall burn. The river shall turn to fire. And this will not be some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our Hello. greed. This is a land founded on greed. Not on science, not on truth, but on greed. Why is everyone acting so crazy, Morgan? I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now Dutch will see us good. <laughs> I hope so. Not you as well. Another fella doubting them? You know, I thought... I thought more of you, Morgan! You know, I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for Eagle Flies. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. You gotta just look out for yourself now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. It all happened so fast. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Okay, Arthur. And this fella here, this fella's Arthur. He's a good guy. A real good guy. Sort of a, a modern day hero. Strong, tough, dumb as rocks. Like a, like a, a cowboy in a little book. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He's a warrior. Straight up uh, killer. We've had some scrapes together. Rescued me from a hanging. Got shot up by a bunch of southerners. Lot of fun we had together. Back in the day. Ain't that so, Arthur? 
time of my goddamn life. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. And this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And I a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let him go. Cause if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. We gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. There's a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> <coughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. All right. 
get this done. Shut up, Arthur. You think it's gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money is hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack, go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. First, we got one last train, John. One last train. Chicago and get a 